Good morning, Richmond family. I'm so glad to be with you this morning to talk to you about our plans for reopening. The ministry staff and the elders have been having conversations on this for weeks now. We've met together, we've met separately, we've been seeking the Lord on this, and the elders have made some decisions. Uh, we also shared those plans with the deacons in their uh, May meeting on Tuesday night. I've been so encouraged by the level of unity and the sense of the Lord's leadership in our times together. So this is the plan. We will be reopening on June the 7th in two morning worship services, one at nine, the other at 11. One of those services will meet here in the worship center and the other service will meet in the family center. Uh, that'll give us some help with the cleaning. We won't have to do a rush job on the cleaning between the two services, but we'll have an entire week to get the whole facility ready for the next Sunday. So that will really help us. We have been engaged in conversation, not just among ourselves, but also with healthcare workers and local community leaders, with other pastors and other churches and denominational leaders. So the conversation partners in these decisions have been broad and they have been helpful. I was happy at the beginning of the week that uh, we made the decision for June the 7th, but my gladness that it has grown as we've gone through the week because we've become aware that Bowling Green is a hot spot, that things are increasing here. We're not on the plateau or on the far side of it like other parts of Kentucky, but we're still growing. And so that's a concern of ours. Also, I think there'll be wisdom just as other churches reopen before we do and businesses reopen, we'll have a sense of how that's going before we do. Uh, now, our Sunday school classes, our community groups, our children's ministry, none of those will be in-person meetings for a good while yet. We'll still be doing uh, using online technology to meet in those ways, and that's gonna be very important for us. Now, we know that many of you are, are gonna wish we were gathering sooner than June 7th, and, and many of you will be thinking, we should have waited even longer than that. A few of you might think we hit it right, but just know that our love for you is what has governed these decisions. We're gonna keep live streaming like we have been uh, all along. That's really important and it's really expanded our reach and that'll be helpful to those who need to stay home because they're vulnerable or they're cautious. We're affirming of that. There's no shame in your not gathering with us for a while. But those who do gather, it's gonna be good. It won't be the same because everybody won't be here. We'll have some protocol to deal with and entering and exiting. exiting. We will be rolling out the specifics of those plans soon, but later. But I want you to be excited about gathering, praising the Lord, hearing His word preached, sensing His presence in the Sunday morning gathering. It's gonna be good and I'm looking forward to it. So I will see you live streamed on Sunday morning and then uh, looking forward to seeing many of you on June 7th. God bless you.